Acharya Sri, should we fear ghosts? We're not supposed to fear ghosts. Only ghosts are seeking revenge. With whom? If they are, they know in the past life they were weak, suppose. Suppose they were employees in the company and the CEO or the boss was taking advantage of the person and the person was very depressed, person cannot, be, was always restless, comes back to home and he just thinks about the boss. Why he is not promoting me? Why is promoting the junior to me? They are not even senior and they are promoted. So they uh, accumulate that kind of revenge. And if that person who is employed under the boss and he committed suicide or sudden accident he dies, he can become ghost. And that ghost first thing he will take revenge of that boss. He will go to that home. He will disturb his children. He will disturb his wife. He will disturb him. Sometimes if they know the trick, they can remove your clothes from your closet. They can um, misplace your jewelry. They can misplace your money. But the, they, they are extreme that time. So we should fear only that way that if you have disturbed someone, if you never disturb someone, the ghost cannot come after you. Unless the ghost is living there, that's what uh, I uh, was telling you that they live mostly on the huge tree or abundant homes or it the house was house used to belong to them and they don't find the place so they feel comfortable there so if that kind of places if you are careful you don't have to be afraid of ghosts ghosts they don't bother you only those people are bothered which they were bothering in that those in the life time like I gave an example a boss was or in the family if a, one of the parents is bothering a child and child cannot fight with you so what will happen if something happened to the child got killed by an accident that child may be supposed to live 75 years more. So now that child is most of it, 75 years without body, can disturb you. That family are the friends which he didn't like. But you're not supposed to be afraid uh, of ghosts. Mostly after a while, they don't bother, they settle down and uh, and they don't go after people. Uh, once, in the beginning, when they become ghosts, they're really after the people. So that is the only time the family which he was killed, in, if the, he has friends or who are disturbing them, that is the only be afraid for a while, maybe a couple of years. After a couple of years, that ghost or that spirit will settle down and will calm down. They will accept that I cannot have the body, physical body. And they begin to feel, because they talk to the other ghost, that how long are you exist? It's 50 years, since 50 years. But there is no way I can get the physical body. So they kind of, they get used to it and they begin to calm down and the other ghost teaches them not to disturb otherwise you are going to collect a lot of karma and that's the way they calm down after a while 
so in that state mostly ghosts are lost spirit they don't bother you so you don't need to be afraid of them but in the beginning time yes are unknowing you don't know because you are not on that level you can see them so so you don't know what you are doing you are messing up with them because you cannot see them they see you so that is the only time they can disturb you but i will still suggest to you that if this unnatural things happen into your house or with you so you can discuss with the person who is on the higher level and can solve your problem you cannot solve that problem maybe the other person can solve the problem let me tell you one more thing when these things happen they go to the churches they talk to the priest priest doesn't know priest is not on that level priest is a professor is worse than professor professor at least teaches in the school whatever education he repeats from the book that is called professor he is a professional he can repeat you cannot so you cannot be a professor if you cannot repeat what is written in the book and priest they are worse than professor because they have just one or two book like a priest in the church is bible they get expert in the bible they can repeat again and again and again same thing hindu priest same thing rabbis same thing pastors same thing ministers they repeat and repeat and repeat so it becomes their profession so they are not on that level yet they can see the ghost so it is useless to talk to the priest pastor rabbi what they will do the family may will feel peace oh this rabbi or this pastor he prayed for us that is psychologically but it is problem is not over problem is still there you need to find a person if you encounter this kind of problem in your life you need to find a person who is on the higher level to solve your problem and it can be solved but don't be afraid just understand they are lost they are restless they are homeless even they are they calm down but it doesn't mean they are not they are not in peace so you cannot see them they see you so try to be even you live in your home i will tell you clean keep clean your home what about if uh, someone lost soul or spirit comes there and begin to live and you don't know you cannot see it but as soon as you encounter any problem try to approach a person who can talk about it and who can solve your problem don't be afraid to be afraid doesn't solve the problem be strong and and uh you can you can solve all of your problem if it is that kind of problem so remember lost soul spirit ghost they are there but they are not after you you cannot see them sometimes by mistake they disturb you 